She broke hearts and inspired fashion trends as Cali girl Marissa Cooper on the hit teen series The O.C. She's appeared in dozens of indie movies and even scared us as the little girl in The Sixth Sense. Now Misha Barton is headed back to TV as part of the cast of the new reality show The Hills New Beginnings. And she's got so much more to talk about with us here in studio this morning. Welcome, Misha. Thank you for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Let's start with a huge congratulations. You're, you're, you're being honored by the Vaughn International Film Festival for your, your indie work. Yeah. Um, Talk to me about what that means to you. It means a lot to me because I, my whole career kind of, I started in the theater, but the first independent film I did when I was 11 was um, this film Sam, with Sam Rockwell called Lawn Dogs, and that really sparked my whole career. So I owe like those independent films to everything that I've done since. Um, so for me, it's like a big deal, and I like to, to honor that. And independent film is like, you know, it's an important thing for people to, to still pay attention to in the world of like all remakes and reboots. And, well, yeah, that, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, as someone who has had her finger in, in a number of pies, from television to fashion to big budget films to, to independent, what is what is it about independent film that, that keeps bringing you back? It's the storytelling. I think it's just that like freedom that you get for real character pieces and for really interesting original stories. And you've been working... Uh, a working actor since you were eight years old. Um, <laughs> what is the draw at this point in your career to go back to television in the reality format? Which, by the way, I'm obsessed with this. I, I cannot right. wait for this to come back. I'm a 43-year-old man. Don't care who knows it. It's very much looking forward to it. It's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, everybody is so... Um, it's everybody's got a story to tell on this show so it's gonna be interesting to see like what parts of people's lives comes out sure. but um you know I mean I think it's just the ability to get to showcase what else you're doing in your life mm -hmm. and for people to have like a real look at your at your life but um yeah you'll have to watch to see what was happens. it a, was it an automatic yes when they approached you or did you need some no I mean I was definitely very cautious about it yeah. because it is a lot and you do put yourself out there and I have to say I have a new respect for reality TV people because really? they work a lot harder yeah. than you would actually think. Oh, that's really and it, interesting. A lot goes into it. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you really do put yourself out there when, when you invite that into your life, so. And you're also coming in as somebody without necessarily the pre-existing relationship. A lot of these people have been working together and have known each other for a while. Sure, I've known them, but yeah, it's definitely everybody's coming back together and reconverging after a long time. Apart. It, it, as you accept this award at the film festival, you know, it, I think it might, must be natural to sort of take stock of your career and, and look back at sort of the signposts that have defined it that you've been proud of. Um, where does the OC land on that list of, of, of moments? Because it was a big moment for your career. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm super proud of the OC. We had a lot of fun with it. It was my first job out of high school. Like, I, I literally really? finished art high school in New York, and I went to the professional children's school, and it got cast in the OC, and it's what moved me out to California. And I have a lot of amazing memories for that. And, yeah, I mean, it was just such an such a success, like, you know, right away. So it's, I, I have a lot of great memories. And wh where, where do, you, do you hang your hat now? Wh where is, where's home? Between New York and LA, yeah. but um, currently with the filming of The Hills, we're in Los Angeles. And the secrets for overcoming jet lag? Yeah, there isn't one. There isn't one. Thank <laughs> no. you. For anybody at home who's wondering, we were talking before the break, there are no secrets. You're yeah. just going to have to deal with it. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. We appreciate your time. Congratulations on this award. And whether it's on the big screen or the small screen, uh, we'll be tuning in. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. And you can catch Misha on The Hills New Beginnings when it premieres on MTV on June 24th.